I think there are a lot of people who do you know, buy into the notion that religion is an opiate for the masses. I, I actually agree <laughs> to some extent. Um, I think we have to make a major difference between religion, which is mostly relating to rules or relating to ceremonies, and what the Bible discusses is a relationship with the living God. These are two different worlds. Religion fundamentally is boring. It is, you know, I mean, how exciting is it to relate to rules and to principles? And th there's, there's nothing that's life-giving in it. In fact, Jesus was most uh, harsh. Uh, the only people he was harsh with were people who were promoting religion. Instead, what he talked about was a relationship with him that was active, vital, dynamic, life-giving, where he himself is the bread of life. He is so satisfying that, that connecting with him is as satisfying as when we're hungry and then we have a great meal. Um, or that living life to the full or living life to the brim or the, the expression we use is, boy, that's really living, you know, when you go on a on a trip and you're experiencing something, you say, boy, this is really living. That's the life that he promises us with him. Not that it'll always be easy and not that there won't be hard things, but there'll be this great adventure, a great relationship, and we relate to a person who is real, who feels and thinks and is, and is active. That's radically different than religion. The, the, the differences couldn't be greater. And, and so I, I agree with those who see religion as... Uh, somewhat weak and ineffective and largely uh, rules-based. I, I agree with that. But that is not what it means to follow Jesus, if we look at what Jesus taught us.